welcome to the second review of the evening. Up this time is a game called Pink Man Plus. Not Pikmin, Pink Man. Um, and yeah, it's quite literal here. You play a man who is pink. Um, Shocking. Yeah, Pink Man is a fast-paced action platformer about a lost man with pink skin and an incredible skill to fart. Like, Pink Man is set in a deadly fantasy world called The Mind, where many hazards will try to cut your body in half while you struggle to discover what happened. And keep yourself alive. Run, jump, and fart through a minimalist and colorful environment in order to find the truth. Like, so that's a description. Yeah, I'll give them that. So, this game was originally released on the PC a few years ago, but has received a recent port via our frenemies at uh, Radalakia. <laughs> like, and as far as what the plus refers to, um, new features exclusively for consoles include checkpoints to save your game, a speedrun timer for those who are competitive, and vibrant new color palettes uh, for additional variety. Um, the checkpoint thing may have been backported because um, one of the bullet points on the Steam version is you can play without checkpoints by entering the famous Konami code. Up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right. Um, missing the BA there and the start. But, you know, close enough, I suppose. Anyway, um, since we were given the PlayStation 4 version of this, over to Petty Fan. All right, so I will say one thing off the bat. Um, some of the um, killer palettes that they give you are kind of eye-irritating. Like, I don't think they cause, you know, like, problems with epilepsy or anything like that, but it's still... It gave me a headache, so keep that in mind. Yeah. So this looks like a masochist platformer. Uh, basically. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of those recently. We got ne so one. I'm sorry, ne I'm sorry, Pink Man. I know it's supposed to be fucking jetpack or something, but your double, but your air jump looks like farts. No, it is farts. The the the. P PR line said this is specifically him, you know, using his gas to fly. Okay, fine then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's the appropriate reaction here. Just another day at the office. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, we, we cover a lot of weird shit. You know, once again, for anyone new to this uh, program, this is more our norm than, um, well, say, a game we're going to review next week. <laughs> oh, I'll have things to say about that, too. Don't worry. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> like, believe me, there's been a lot to say about that one. Though, since this this is a Rada Like It handled affair, I'm assuming there's not much to it. No. Like, Do you like running to the exit that sometimes to the right have fun i think there are 100 levels which all right <laughs> if i had to guess i think the primary influence here is a um different platformer than uh what we usually mention with these kinds of things that's n plus yep now, though yeah. the movement is nowhere near as fluid as n plus a few games are Fair. Yeah, you know, like, let's be honest here. N plus is just a marvel of movement. On the fucking DS, no less. Mm. But uh, yeah. Really any platform. Like, even the PC version is really good. Mm. Like, with, with, like, a keyboard. But, oh, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, putting those comparisons aside, how does this game play? Um, it's very, very stiff. It looks stiff. Mm -hmm. Like, Pink Man here doesn't really have a lot of animation. No, no, he does not. Like, yeah. Um, and how is the synthwave beats that they're so proud of? I personally hate it, but that's a me thing. Uh, duly noted. 
So they are, in fact, synthwave beats. Yes. They sound like somebody is strangling the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I generally like synthwave, though I do have my limits. Like a lot of production from the late 80s that went really heavy on the um, fake horns, that shit gets on my nerves quickly. Yeah, I will say one of the big things that's kind of a drawback for this game is not only are the um, spiky death balls, um, like the bright color, or the, I guess the contrasting color, so are the jump pads. So, originally it's hard to tell, you know, is this going to kill me or not? Because everything else that's safe is background color. going to be safe to say that next week's Masochus platformer is definitely the best we've covered this year by a wide margin. You know, I hate playing it. <laughs> I, you know, I should, like, I think we mentioned this um, more than once. In general, this kind of platformer isn't our style. Yeah. I mean, we still cover them because, well, we cover the games we get. But, anyway. Um, so, pricing. So, this is probably going to be where the you know, the controversy is. Because this is about the starkest price gap I've seen, or certainly one of them. Because, okay, the the PlayStation, the console version, is clocking in. It's on sale right now for three forty nine, But it's nor uh, normal price is four ninety nine, five dollars Um the PC version goes for one dollar. Ooh, yeah. Um, That's a gap. That is a gap. Yeah, I'm like... Even though I didn't cover the game, I think I'm pretty safe in saying go for the PC version if you want to get this. Yeah, the $1 is probably about what this is worth, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, that just, like that's feels more like Radalikia's um, pricing more than anything else, because they're the publisher of the console versions and the original developer, um, Vindino, Stu Vindino Studios, um, published the Steam version. So that's once again that's how we get these price gaps. Because mm -hmm. prices differ between publishers. Uh, sometimes. Not all the time. And, or it's additional work. Anyway, so ultimately, where do you fall on Pink Man Plus, Teddy? Um, not my cup of tea. And honestly, there are, um, better, um, you know, masochist, masochist-esque platformers. Though I will say they're not many in the $1 price range that are good, so... It's got that going for it. Mm -hmm. Alright then, so I think that's uh, gonna be about it for Pikmin Plus. Um, be sure to tune in after the break, as the Galics will be reviewing Sumatra, Fate of Yandi. <laughs> 